Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini for the month of March. Um, it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If not, check your moon and your rising. If you still don't find your messages there, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Um, I would ask you to think of a question now that you're seeking an answer for and then choose A or B and I will turn these over at the end of this reading and answer your question. Once you have picked uh, both your question and your answer card, um, please stick to that, don't change it. <clears throat> Let's begin. You're in a separation from someone that you love. I feel there's been heartbreak. You're still holding on. Um, you're, you're thinking. Um, I feel like you're, you're trying to, I feel like you, it, it's someone you keep hitting brick walls with. Um, and you're trying to look for a new approach to the problem. You have a lot of mental anxiety and a lot of heartbreak. But I feel like you still hold on to hope. There is regret here. This person made themselves uh, emotionally unavailable and threw you into confusion. It could be somebody had um, other options. And shut you out but you're grieving over this person um, you hold that flame of attraction for this person um, that passion it burns within you you've got so much emotion inside of you um, and it's, it kind of, um, uh, it's like you keep it contained. Something was sacrificed. Maybe you feel like you were sacrificed. Um, you don't know how to get back what you've lost. And that's why you're here in that Four of Swords energy. And not just that, but you don't know how to get out of this situation. You don't know how to get out of the Four of Swords. This is requiring a lot of strength on your part uh, because you still burn uh, with passion for this person. You're looking over at uh, the card of fire It could have been a very intense, very passionate relationship. What I see in the cards is um, there would have been a disagreement. There's a crack right down the middle. Um, something stood between you. There could have been uh, an argument here. Uh, someone was standing firm with what they wanted and the other person perhaps wasn't giving it or wasn't willing to, to, to do it. So they stay on their side and she's on her side. Then we have the marionette here. Um, so you might feel like, uh, or, or this person, I feel, emotionally holds power over you because you've given your heart to this person and then they shut you out in the cold but this person is missing you and thinking of you and they are thinking of coming back or wanting to come back whether you let them in or not you know, that's a different story. <laughs> what I'm seeing here 
is that they are thinking of you because this king who's in reverse here, who shut you out, he's in the upright over here and um, is going over all the memories of this person he loved or lover, whoever this, uh, whoever, you know, uh, you were to him. Perhaps uh, he was already in a relationship. That's possible because we have the devil and the five of pentacles. So he's thinking of coming back. Reigniting the flame. Starting it up again. This is somebody who is watching, possibly from behind the scenes. Gathering information. Someone could be feeling powerless here with regards to making change. I feel that's you, if this is you in the Four of Swords, because these energies can be vice versa. That is whoever is in the Four of Swords. Let's see what's here. There was a walking away. Something uh, was exposed. But although they walked away, I don't, I'm not sure that they really wanted to walk away. They may have felt they had to walk away. Now we see um, very intense emotions surfacing with regards to the separation. And this person now wanting um, a new beginning to move forward to get into that chariot and move forward and I see it everywhere here in this reading here we have it's the same it's the same almost the same cards look at that three of swords three of swords chariot Okay, so here he is again, he's in the upright. Possibly wanting to uh, apologize for this. He's been doing a lot of thinking about the walking away, about the heartbreak that he caused you. And I feel that he's coming back. He has not yet done so. He's in the hangman mode. And he's put himself there. But when he's ready, he will step out of there. So he's trying, you see, he's thinking about messaging you. Um... But we have the Five of Swords on the other side, which speaks to um, hidden dangers. Uh, it speaks to the unexpected, like um, it especially speaks to sudden surprises. He could surprise you with a message, but it's funny, I get the impression that he doesn't want any unexpected surprises. And I don't know why I, I'm getting that. If he's still, if this is somebody who was in a, uh, in a relationship and shut you out in the cold because of that, let's say you were the lover, then there would be hidden danger. This would be the hidden danger, the fact that he was 
already in a relationship. And because the devil uh, sits over here, he's wanting to find, uh, or he's coming forth with a solution to the third party, possibly with the devil here. Because the two of swords in this deck is about finding a peaceful resolution to a third party situation with the devil and the five of coins. And we have the ace of cups. So he's definitely coming forward with a new offer. Is it the offer you desire? Again, that's another thing. But you see, we have the queen over here holding the flame. And we have over here the king um, coming in. It's like the knight in shining armor comes in to get the damsel in distress, kind of. But you can see the, the fire behind him just roaring. So he has very intense passion for this uh for this lady here. And she feels the same towards him. And here he comes. She can't see him. But he's coming. And he's coming in quite unexpectedly. And maybe he will take her by surprise. Somebody wants to go back. They are um, not seeing this would be you. You don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, possible that you go in and out of um, sadness, depression, over this breakup. You didn't see it coming. You weren't expecting that. And so you're here. Yes, a relationship of convenience or um, feeling trapped in this energy, in this very cold place that this breakup has left you. Interesting. Okay. And up here, we have this um, Six of Swords energy and the Fool. So right now they're in that hangman mode and they're torn. About taking this leap of faith or taking this risk. Now this Six of Swords is like, uh, yeah, there's a risk. It's unknown territory. They don't know what to expect coming back to you after what they did. And th in that alone, mm, they may not want, you know, uh, be worried about your reaction and whether you would take them back or not. Because in this unknown territory, um, there could be a mixture of excitement because, dear Lord, there's very, very high intensity of passion here with that king and that queen. And you can literally feel the passion there, the intensity, and the card of fire. But things are unclear. They don't know what their reception uh, is going to be. So they are presently in that hangman mode, but I believe they're coming. We have that Ace of Cups sitting here in your future.
and the draw of the devil. So let's, um, let's go to your questions now. So for those of you um, who picked A, we'll begin here. you have the card of abundance. So this card, this card is saying that your angels will be with you as you take the actions necessary to manifest your dreams. If you are um, seeking to heal a relationship, then this card is telling you to open your arms to heaven to receive with gratitude that which you desire for it is coming. For B. Those who chose B as your answer card, you have a peaceful resolution. The challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. Conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony. There will be a sense of peace shared by all, even if some are only to agree to disagree. Disagreements will be resolved in your favor. So, peaceful resolution for B, abundance for A. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. Many blessings.